Hey guys, Sky Coach 14 here, and today we're back with episode 7 of Watch Dogs Legion. So we are continuing the day of the past. Well, I guess Al being a seized control of the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I was never a fan of the cops, but this is so much worse. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Anyway, um, like I was saying, like, we're continuing the digging up the past mission. So I'm deciding to go as the Albion, uh, guard, because, like, it'll be easier to get in. And like, you know, just trying to sneak in here. So we could just walk right in. Should be able to as long as we don't we don't get too close to people. Going as a friend Sam. Um yeah, I should be able to just walk right in. As long as we don't like Linger around places. Should be fine. We gotta find the spider bot. Hey, is that the same spider bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the tone bombing site. Can you tell who owned it? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Copy that. Okay, so we just hijack this. There we that go. Opening right there looks like a good exit point. Up there? Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. Um That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Yeah, but they want someone to blame. Because Albion was a part of it. Oh. Yes, Albion was a part of the whole setup. stuff I can interact with in here? Well, I can interact with, interact with that mask. That's Galton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Probably. I, that's what I figured. I figured it was the guy we played as. Anything else I can interact with? Nope. This, can, this thing kind of reminds me of like Springtrap or like Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's because it's so damaged. Maybe more Springtrap because it's like he's actually. Dead sec, maybe? That's probably why they knocked. That, that's probably why they knocked him out. That's probably why they took out. Helped take out a. Uh, dead sec. They're all about, like, helping people. Damn 
Ash spider bot. And there's the rest of it. Quiet. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Yeah, all right. The GPS history of the Spiderbot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. No one would come here accidentally, that's for sure. A perfect place to plan a terrorist attack. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. So, how do we get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Oh, I've been here before, just do that. I always love these missions. Just hacking through stuff through a computer to the monitor. Oh. Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. Albion. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Zero immigrants, day. deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. Ooh. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught... Well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. Yeah, she's gone. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. So Albion was working with Clan Kelly gangsters. I can't even say I'm surprised. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clank Kelly and Albion included. We need to do something about these kidnappings. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of oh, personal is. team. But finding his trail might just shed some light. On the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Right. Well, if he's in the EPC, he won't be going anywhere anytime soon. But considering the state of that place, we should see what we can do. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. I imagine you can hijack that. Because I want to hijack that long one. I want to see what it's like to drive one of those. But anyway. That seems like a good place to end it. We just we finished the mission, you know. To digging up the past mission, like we got to control a spider bot. Like we found some information about like a dead sec member that's been like captured, so we gotta go save them. So yeah, it seems like a good place to end it. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.